What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lord's mobile video and today guys it's going to be the ultimate battle, the one that you guys have been asking for for a very very long time, finally it's here. We've got the Winter Mitts versus the Eternal Codex, which is better to use for defense, attack, it's one of those pieces of gear that people are always confused about. So I've gone ahead and set up the perfect test to try and nip this in the bud once and for all. Now the first thing I need to do is go and use my precious chisels, oh yes guys, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take away those purple jewels because we're going to run this test as fair as we possibly can, that's the way I'm going to try and do this. You can see I've got the Eternal Codex and the Mitts here, both with no jewels. We're going to go off base stats, okay guys? And what I mean by that of course is I do have to send my leader to equip this piece of gear. But I've gone ahead and I've reset all of my hero skill points. You can see no points are being put in whatsoever. Everything is completely empty. So when I send my leader, I'm just going to be going off the back of my research, which on this account is just basic T4 research. No level 2 attack, army attack or HP or anything like that. Now you can see I'm in my bubble right now, so I need to go ahead and get rid of that so I can go ahead and do this test. Now something that not everybody does actually, they sometimes use relocators to go to the forest. Well actually you can actually click on a castle and do a, like a fake rally. This will actually go ahead and get rid of it. Make sure it's a castle with no guild of course. And that way to the untrained eye it looks like your shields just popped. Um, I don't know you're in fury so if you get rallied or something you pull away they most likely will cancel because they don't think you're in fury. <laughs> so that's what I went ahead and done but this is my rally trap so it don't really matter if I am rallied to be honest. Okay so how are we going to do this? Basically we're going to start off with the defences. Now I'm going to leave the guild, there we go. I'm going to put 10,000 T2 range on a square just in front of me here, okay? And first of all, I'm going to go ahead and equip the Codex. Now we're going to use range because both of these pieces of gear do have some range attacks, so it makes sense to use range. Although I did do the test as well with infantry, and that came out slightly different, but I'll come back to that in just a, well, a little bit later in the video, guys. So as you can see, I'm putting Snow Queen in. She's going to have the Codex equipped, no other stats at all. And we're going to go ahead and put 10,000 sharpshooters on this tile. Now, Psycho Bitch does have a bit more research done than me. She does have a bit of that leadership tree with the level 2 army attack. So, But it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm using the same person to do the test, it should be absolutely fine. So here we go, guys. The first test is about to begin. The defense with Codex. She's going to go ahead and send 10,000 uh, range. No leader, okay? I have no gear, like, so no gear or anything, anything like that comes into play. So here comes the hit. Right, how did that go? So we won that one. Awesome. Let's go down and click on the battle report and see what we're, we're looking at here to start this off. Okay, so let's go down and take a look. And as you can see, I had 1,876 wounded. There is 1,390 wounded on her side and 927 red deaths. Okay, that's the first hit. Now what we need to do, of course, is compare that to how the winter mitts perform. Um, just again, just to make sure you guys are, you know, aware that this is a completely fair test. I will go down and show you the bit at the bottom, just to show you that it was 10,000 range against 10,000 range. And there you go, guys. All right. So no funny business going on. It's it's a it's a fair test. So we got the first result there, 927 red deads on, on her side. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring back in my troops. And we're going to redo that test again, but this time we're going to equip the epic winter mitts. They're both the same grade, okay? Very important to do this test with the same grade. We're going to go ahead and put our sharpshooters in. Actually, I think I forgot to do my leader. Let's go and do that quickly, because <laughs> that resets it. There we go. So 10,000 sharpshooters, and we're going to send them on their merry way. Here they go. So this time, Codex is off. We've got the Winter Mitts in. Uh, Psycho is going to go ahead and send the same march. So 10,000 ranged troops, no leader. Just double checking the Codex is in. We are all ready to go. Just waiting now for this march to come in, and then we can compare the battle reports and see 
which one done the best on defense. Let's have a look. Here it comes. And there's the hit. Was it a win as well? Let's wait and have a look. And yes, we won that too. Awesome. Okay. So let's go and check the battle report, guys, and take a look and see what the results were like. Okay. Here we go. Right. So I had 823 red deads on her that time, which is actually uh, less. Okay. 1,339 which is less. So we had 34 more Red Deads with the Codex, 51 more Wounded with the Codex, but look at the defense, 1,823 Wounded. So I actually lost 53 less troops with the Codex. I still got the victory, but I actually lost less troops. And that's actually a good thing, because on a defense, if I'm losing less troops, my squad attack is maintained. I can continue to do more damage for a longer period of time, potentially meaning if I'm a rally trap, I can take that extra one or two rallies if I'm using the winter mitts over the codex. Yes, I'm doing more damage, but I'm losing more. And that's not a good thing when you're defending. You need to maintain your troop count. So with that being said, look at these two battle reports. My honest opinion is that the winter mitts are going to be better than the codex on defense. And I also tested this out with infantry. And I also tested this out with Cavalry, and it works the same on all three guys. In fact, even better when I've done it with the Infantry. Most likely, I don't know why it's better with the Infantry. <laughs> I don't know, but there you go. But on, my, on that front, I will definitely say that the, the Winter Mitts, if you're defending on a solo trap, if you're defending on a fort or a rally trap, Winter Mitts are the way to go, which is probably why I see a lot of Champion players sporting the Winter Mitts over the Codex. Anyway... Now we know that Winter Mitts are going to be better on defense, how are they going to perform on the attack? So we'll go ahead and scout this castle just to make sure there's our 10,000 sharpshooters. Awesome stuff. Let's go to our hero and switch back to the Codex for this first attack using the range. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know whether it's that attack power of the... Uh, of the you know, of the, of it's going to come into play here and actually outdo the Mitts. We'll have to wait and see. So 10,000 troops on the sharpshooters. There we go, and they're marching in. Now this is the Codex, first of all, guys, all right? So let's uh, let's take a look at this. So it's gonna hit. Are we gonna win? Let's have a look. Is it enough to beat it? And yes, okay, so we won that attack with the Codex. Let's bring this camp in in case someone tries to get smart. <laughs> and uh, let's go and look at that all important battle report. So taking a look at this one, you can see on my side, I had 1,125 wounded. 751 red deads and on her side 2317 wounded okay that's our first attack with the codex using the range now the next thing we need to do of course is go ahead and switch this out over to the mitts and then compare how the attack was compared to this report here and i'm only using 10,000 troops to reduce our red deads doing this test of course if you increase these numbers to the rally size or to the solo march size then these small numbers actually become quite big so that's another reason why i said that the mitts were better on defense but this is the one this is the one where we find out if it's going to be better on attack as well so here we go we've got our 10,000 sharpshooters waiting let's go and switch over the codex to the epic winter mitts right here we go guys let's see if this is going to do better or not so we're going to go ahead and select our hero done Go down and select our gladiators, not gladiators, our sharpshooters, put our 10,000 in. Beautiful. Let's go, guys. Let's see how this goes. So here they go. They're marching in now. Come on. Let's see what happens. Are we going to win or lose? First of all, that's the important thing. If we lose, then they're definitely not good for attack. Let's wait and see. And we won. Okay, cool. Now, let's bring my hero back. And let's jump down to this battle report and compare this up, guys. Here we go. This is the big one, I think, really. Here we go. So, I actually had 1,093 wounded, okay, and 730 uh, red deads on that attack, but I only done 2,232 damage. And it's interesting because I've done 85 more damage on the, on the camp with the codex equipped, but on my side of things, I actually lost... 32 more troops on my wounded and I lost 21 more troops on my reds, but 
as you can see, 85 is a lot bigger than that on the attack. So obviously you have to increase these numbers if you're talking about a bigger march, but all in all, although I may lose a little bit less, I actually do a bunch more attack damage and really hurt the troops a lot more using the codex for that range attack there. That basically tells me one thing guys, if I'm going to be attacking with range or cav or infantry and I'm using a piece of gear on that offhand that's going to boost one of those uh, troop types attack, then it's going to ultimately give me a better result on attack than the mitts will do. However, if I am going to take a defense from anyone, from any troop type, then 100% the mitts are the way to go. So the result of this test is actually kind of like a tie. If you're going to attack and you you know you go for something that boosts attack damage, if you're going to go with infantry, then you need to make sure you put something in that offhand that's going to give your infantry a boost. So the Dark Aegis, for example, the Call of the Deep, the Switchblade, anything. If you put something in that offhand that boosts your infantry attack, you're going to get a better result than the Winter Mitts can offer. However, if you're not boosting any attack there, then the Winter Mitts will do a good job. But ultimately, for defense, the Mitts, for attack, the Codex. Also, guys, if you're using Winter Mitts and Codex, and your Winter Mitts are a higher level than your Codex, for example, if your Codex is at purple and your Mitts are at gold, use the Mitts. If your Codex is higher and your Mitts are lower, then you stick with the Codex. But on an equal playing field, if your pieces of gear are identical grade, both purple, both gold, both mythic, I would say it one last time, guys, the results of this show that for defending, you go with the Winter Mitts. Absolutely, you're going to get the better result. And if you're going to attack someone with range or cavalry, you go with the Codex or infantry, something else. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this interesting. Finally, we get a decision on what's best to use for what. And if you did enjoy that, make sure you leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. Leave your comments down below for anything you'd like to say about this test today. If you disagree, let me know why. And if you agree, awesome. <laughs> and until the next time, guys, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everybody. And peace out.